Welcome to Young at Heart Worship with East Dallas Christian Church. I'm Pastor Allison, and I'm so glad to be here worshiping with you today. Today, we're gonna to continue learning about Joseph. Remember, we started last week learning about his really bright and pretty and colorful coat that his dad gave him, and then his brothers got a little jealous and so they sent him away, they sold him to some other people. And today we're gonna to learn who those people are and what happens to Joseph and how ultimately it works out for his family in the end. So let us begin worship today by praising God and singing our songs. Let's sing the B-I-B-L-E. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, the B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the word of God, the B-I-B-L-E. And now our centering song. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Our scripture for today comes from the beginning of Genesis chapter 45. This is the end of the story, but it shows us how it turns out for good. Then Joseph could no longer control himself before all those who stood by him and he cried out, send everyone away from me. So no one stayed with him when Joseph made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard it and the household of Pharaoh heard it. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph, is my father still alive? But his brothers could not answer him, so dismayed were they at his presence. Then Joseph said to his brothers, come closer to me, and they came closer. And he said, I am your brother Joseph, whom you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me ahead of you to preserve life. For the famine has been in these lands two years, and there are five more years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. God sent me before you to preserve for you a remnant on the earth and to keep alive many survivors. So it was not you who sent me here, but God. And he has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his house and ruler over all of the land of Egypt. Hurry and go get my father. After Joseph's brothers sold him, he eventually wound up serving underneath the Pharaoh. While he was serving the Pharaoh, he became very, very important to Pharaoh. He interpreted some dreams that the Pharaoh didn't know what to do with. He helped the Pharaoh see that a time of famine, a time of hunger was coming. And so instead of being unprepared, the Pharaoh knew to stock up food to get ready for this time of Pharaoh. And so Joseph became very, very important. At the same time, his brothers are still at home. And in their land, in Canaan, there also became a famine. And their whole family was very, very hungry. They didn't know how to take care of each other or find food. And so, trying to figure out how to not be hungry anymore, the brothers traveled to Egypt because they knew that Egypt and Pharaoh had a lot of food stored up. And so when they come to Egypt, they go before the Pharaoh's chief person. And they don't realize that that chief person is their brother. And so they ask, they say, 
please, please, can we have some food? And Joseph, who they don't know is Joseph, thinks it's a trick, thinks they're here to steal. And so he sends them away and he says, we don't have food for you. Go back to your land. But two, three times, the brothers come back and ask, can we please have some food? There is none in our land. And so Joseph, still worried, still hurt, sends them away and says, bring me your youngest brother and I will hold him in exchange for food. I will hold him until I know that you're trustworthy. And the brothers are all very worried and scared because they know their youngest brother, Benjamin, is their father's very favorite. But they also know that they really need food. And so they bring their youngest brother, Benjamin, and give him into Joseph's care. Then all the brothers return home. where their father laments that another one of his sons is gone. He is sad. And so Judah, the dad, comes to Joseph and pleads. He says, please, please reveal my, release my son. So everyone, the dad, the brothers, everyone comes to Joseph to plead, 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 please let Benjamin go. At that point, Joseph reveals himself. He says, I am your brother. I have been lifted up in Pharaoh's court. I have been made mighty. And so now that we are a family together again, bring everyone your wives, your children, your animals here to Egypt so that we can all have enough food together. And so because Joseph was brought to a place of honor in Pharaoh's court, was brought to be the chief person, the most important person, all of his family was able to have enough food to eat and to get through the famine. Now that we have read our scripture and heard and seen our story, it's time to move into our wondering questions to explore the story a little bit deeper and feel out for ourselves how it makes us feel about Joseph and his brothers and about how God saves the day. So again, at each slide, be sure to pause and either think to yourself or share with those around you your answer to the wondering questions. Thank you for your wonderful wonderings and all the things that you discovered and thought about. Let us now move into our time of prayer, joys, and concerns, remembering at each slide again to pause, think to yourself, or share with those around you the things that have been really great in your week, but also the things that have been a little hard and a little difficult. I'm so glad we get to worship together each week and that we got to continue learning about Joseph and how God turned that sad story into a great story, saving the lives of his family when everyone was really hungry and there wasn't enough food for everyone. Thank you so much for joining me and be sure to let me know how you see this story working in the world, where you see God in your life. Let us now go to our closing prayer together. I encourage you to repeat after me so that we truly are praying together. Awesome God, 
I give thanks for the story of Joseph. I give thanks for the ways that God works, for how God saves them. Help me to feel God in my own life. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you.